Hello, my wonderful friends. Megas with you on a beautiful day in Asha. I'm excited about today's message. This video, it's got a lot in it. We're going to read from the great mystic and poet, St. John of the Cross. And these words, they're so beautiful about how God and you are one. Your good is here now. Love is here now. My friends, and just these poems, it, it just brings joy to my heart and I hope it does the same for you. And then I wanna talk about our sacred book, Asha. My friends, if you're brand new to this channel, Asha, it's inspired by the Magi text and it's everything. So I wanna discuss it and then I gotta share something with you guys. It just came from Amazon today and it's gonna put a smile on your face, I have no doubt. And for my longtime followers, I'll give you a little hint it's Tuesday, and you know what I love to do on Tuesdays. So we'll save that for last, but listen how beautiful this is. What could have caused your grip to weaken that allowed creation to be? How could a lover fall to his death from the arms of infinite strength? How active you are in the mind sustaining such a great wall that the sun can cast a frightening shadow that the world believes. No one has ever really known sadness. I want you to think about this, guys. No one has really known sadness. No real God would ever allow pain. How then can a heart feel it is broken and in need if we are held in the arms of infinite compassion and strength? That mirror you, God, stand before we need to gaze into it also. That name you called beloved as I fell from your lips, I suffered because I did not quite hear it. So tell me again, dear one, so clear, I am you. Oh, I love that. Listen to this. It says, why does not the church tell you? At the last, the time came for the bride to be with him. Nothing all the other brides had ever known could have prepared me. Only the beauty and light you cannot describe has a place in his house. I can touch God, yes, but not with anything I own, not with anything I can identify with, not with anything that knows me. Purity. Have you ever contemplated that word? I once beheld the root of the Immaculate and it drew me into itself. I looked at it through his eyes. Why does not my sacred church tell you God only sees himself? My friends, this is the, mass, the message of the masters and the, the messiahs and the poets and the saints. You and God are the same thing. You, you come from God and you're made of God and you shall return to God and there's no separation from your God. And in truth, there really is no suffering. You're, you're safe in his arms, my friends. This is all just a, a game we play in, in Maya, in the illusion, my friends. And you always have the ability to step back into that frequency of purity, of pure light, my friends. Everything's karma. In, in this time space, in this matter and form, Everything that your spirit, your frequency holds, it, it makes a real form and matter. So there is consequences for the ideas and beliefs and frequencies we hold. My friends, but if you hold love, there is no hate, fear, and greed, and suffering. When you hold the original word, the perfect creator's perfect idea that we call Asha. And that's what I want to talk about right now is Asha. This is so much more than a book, than paper, and words, and ink. My friends, it's that idea of perfect perfection and bliss, the perfect creator's perfect idea. What else could he have? You and God one, no separation. And my friends, I promise you, if you'll treat this book more than a book, if, you, if you'll respect and honor it, my friends, love it, be with it. It's 16 statements and teachings and if you'll just take one of them and really meditate on it and ask, what is it asking of me? What is it telling me? What, what is it saying? Do I really believe that? When it says God is all good 
and has no attributes of the evil spirit. What does that mean? What does that mean to me, my friends? And, and really experience it for yourself. People love this channel because I take these simple statements and teachings and I break it down like that. How I've, how I've asked those hard questions and then I feed it to you. But something magic happens when you do it for yourself because then it's no longer just my idea or just one more opinion. My friends, it concretes it into your heart and mind when you do it yourself. When you ask God, how do I really feel about this? How, how do I really feel about what this is talking about here? Do I really believe it? Could this really be true? My friends, and that's where the magic happens. If you don't have it yet, Asha by Winston Head, available at Amazon. I'll leave it in the drop down description. Hear me, my friends. All the money I get from this book, I give to charity. Here at the Order of the Magi, I keep none of the money. I touch none of the money because I want people to always know my heart. It's about the message, it's about the word. I, I can get plenty of money in other areas in my life, my friends, other than through ministry. So all the money we get from ministry, I give it away to charity. We do good stuff with it. And I'm gonna ask you one more thing. After you get this book, go leave a review. Tell people what it meant to you because people read those reviews before they buy a book. And then we get this message out more and we do more good with that money. All right, guys, I'm excited to show you what I got from Amazon. I'm gonna bring the camera in close and share it with you. I know it's gonna make your heart feel good. I love you. All right, how many of you guys guessed it was a tarot deck for Tarot Tuesday? This is the most adorable deck I've probably ever seen. It's the Kwai Tarot. And my friends, my God, it will put a smile on your face. It will make you happy. I mean, for me, that's what my spiritual journey is all about, feeling good. And, and I promise you, this deck makes you feel good. I, I was thinking I'd just flip through the uh, Major Arcana and just let you get a feel for it. There's the Fool card. The Magician. He's got one wing up, one wing down as above, so below. I love the colors of it. I mean, and then the little creatures, it, it really is just cuteness overload. Look at the Empress, a poodle. I mean, just perfect. After this, I'm probably gonna have to go chop wood, ride my motorcycle, try, try to balance this out. Oh my God. I love this deck. Little chubby unicorns. Look at this lover's card, these two rabbits, the sun. My God, that's beautiful. What is wrong with me, guys? <laughs> oh, the chariot. Look at this strength card. It's a mouse sitting on a cat. The mouse has a little infinity symbol on his head. Too cute. The hermit with his lantern, his wheel of fortune. The justice card. Look at this hanging man, an owl hanging upside down. Love it. And their little facial expressions. It's too much. Look at this death card. Temperance. The devil, he's a bat here. The tower. Star card. The moon. And I love the sun card. That just gives you all the feels. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Judgment. The world. 
Is that great? And then all the minor arcana are just as adorable. The whole deck is great. All right, guys, I love you. Have a blessed day.